let's take now from semantic tagging going down to adding a it. database triplet to an individual video frame. So indexing an individual video frame so we can run an application. This, so this is an example in London, if I'm yeah, recognizing that's right, it right? That's right. This, this camera right here, this is a special uh, multiband infrared camera from a company called Vehicle Occupancy. And this camera gives us the ability to actually see into cars so you can see how many people are in the car. So in this case, let me go ahead and just play this at a stop frame rate. We can measure the number of people that are in a given car. Using machine vision, we can read the license plate. We can correlate that information to whether or not they have a transponder, mm -hmm. and then we can decide whether we want to charge them a toll. And we can do that on a frame-by-frame -frame basis. So we're down to actually tagging individual frames of video. This is uh, the kind of applications that when you tie them together, for example, with traffic sensors. So here's London. They've got the Olympics coming up. And we're the proud infrastructure provider. That's right. As a matter of fact, we provide a lot of that video capability mm -hmm. and infrastructure. They've got video cameras, traffic sensors. They're looking at license plate. They're reading. This is the kind of big data problem we've been hearing about at the conference this week. Yes. That only Cisco's UCS technology, eliminating those bottlenecks of memory and bandwidth, that that really are needed to apply to this kind of application. And that's what Larry talked a little bit on Sunday night, that's too, right. in terms that's of big right. data. That's so right. what you're really saying, Jim, is that it's an architectural play where you tie together yeah. the pieces. This is a smart connected community. You just use the example of safety and security and traffic flow. That's right. And the same thing can apply to education or other things. Now, John, we have brought with us uh, an architectural diagram just to show the, the complexity here of being able to pull these all together, because it's not just the high performance but you need to be able to do that with the security and the mobility and the video capabilities that we can bring all together through Cisco technology. Jim, well done. I got it. Thank, Thank you, you very John. much. And everything worked, which is very important. Great. Thank you, John. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who have ever done demos with new uh, software, you know what it's like when you get up on stage. You sweat a little bit and you hope it comes out well. But it does speak to how quickly this has moved. And while you might say what you just saw with video collaboration, the importance of how cloud feeds into it, is very complex, this is kind of baby steps versus what you'll see in the future. But it is the ability to go back to that central theme. It's all about capturing market transitions. Those companies who capture the transitions are able to convert that into the technology, then have the technology in a way you can convert it to allow your customers to achieve their goals in this rapidly innovating world. will determine who the survivors are and who get left behind. I started off my discussion by saying just one thing. If I did my job really well, I will have made you a little bit uncomfortable with some of the changes we're talking about. And if you walk away with just one thing that you'll be doing differently when you go back to work in your individual customer accounts a week from now, I've accomplished my goal. It was a great honor to speak with you today. I'm very honored that Oracle invited us to be a part of that. And I want to thank Larry and Saffer and Mark for allowing that to occur. And thank you very much for your time today. Have a great day, a great conference. Thank you. Thank you.